Ad, eh, in the Vatican, uh, there is a guy who now Pope, even Pope Francis had to kick out of the Vatican, but uh, Assange from Wikileaks called him Jessica, that's his code name. And he was uh, the, uh, the, the, basically the master of ceremony for, uh, for uh, Pope Ratzinger. And uh, he himself celebrated this, uh, this really strange, uh, strange masses and rituals with drag queens present just before going to then celebrate mass with the Pope. This is a, and then there was a big scandal. There was a big scandal actually that went on and, and, and went into the news in Italy for a couple of days when they discovered that near the Termini station where now CNN is making all these documentaries lately to show that there is a prostitution from these new arrivals from the, you know, like the immigrants that get arrived in Italy that they are bringing to Italy. Basically, CNN is showing that at the Termini station there is a lot of uh, uh, prostitution from uh, minors, from uh, young kids. Well, uh, there was a scandal here in Italy in, uh, at a certain point in uh, 2013, I think it was June 2013, it went on the news for two days, then it was erased. They go into this my bar and in these places around the Termini station uh, to pick up these young kids. And then they used to have these ambulances, these fake ambulances parked in front of Termini station. And they used to pick up these young Romanian kids, 14 year old kids, and bring them directly into the Vatican. This was uh, unfortunately what, what is going on. And what I talk about also in my book, because uh, of course, this is stuff that came out in the news. There is a lot of evidence. And then uh, the only thing is that at an international level, the media don't say, don't talk about these things. They, they don't uh, report these things. So I'm trying to report on what uh, is being silenced by the international media. And thanks to, uh, to Infowars.com, we are finally reporting to you today. The media will never tell you the truth. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're well, here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. A lot of you have been following my progress using Supermail Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Supermail Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything, had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was gonna lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick, it's real. Super Male Vitality, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. 
Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain Force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of Brain Force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. Still damaging your brain. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I was there at the beginning, inside the Clinton machine. I saw it all happen, from the corrupt to the absolutely corrupt. And that's when I thought about my father, who was dying of lung cancer, and what he would do if he knew the man I'd become. And then I thought about my daughter. What if the cocaine they were bringing in was to end up getting used by her? I hit my knees that day and asked God to forgive me. I wasn't a good person. I worked in special operations, Central America, South America. I did a lot of bad things. But I hit the bottom that day and said I was gonna make up for it. And now, I just wanna see these criminals brought to justice and get their just due, not made president, but put where they belong in jail. One thing about Hillary, Bill was just a good timing guy. But Hillary, she's an animal. Hillary is the one that I promise you, she pulls the strings. She pulled him in Arkansas. She pulled him in the White House when she was there as the first lady. And my God, if she gets to be president, what you see out here now is gonna change. We thought it changed with Obama. There's nothing compared to what's gonna happen with Hillary. And I tell you right now, I will stop Hillary. We've gone further than anybody we know of. And that's all we're going to say. And people can ask us a hundred different ways and from a hundred different directions. And we're just going to leave the ultimate decision up to the American people. I really um, just want everybody to take a deep breath and relax and just, you know, sit back because here they come again. We're going to have to just ride through this as we have so many of these other um, false accusations. Let me get the air clear about this. The email scandal, I believe, was brought out by the Clintons. Now, I would be pleased to talk more about this important matter, but I know there have been questions about my email, so I want to address that directly, and then I will take a few questions from you. You see, we knew running for election. You never want to run 
as the anointed one. You always want to run as the underdog. Now it's kind of hard when you're building Hillary Clinton with all the hoopla and who they are now. How do you get to be the underdog? If you look at the email scandal, where did the email scandal come from? The New York Times. The New York Times has never been anything but a PR firm for the Clintons. Even if they had it, there is no way the New York Times would have broke a story about Hillary that could do damage to her. But look what she's done. They have used the email scandal to catapult them into an underdog status. Now, as we get closer to the election, when you get through the primary and you get into the general election, I can tell you, New York Times, read my lips. Go ahead and write the articles, probably already written. Right when they get into the general election, you know what they're gonna say? They're gonna say, oh, we've checked all this out, and it turns out there was nothing to it. That's what's gonna happen. It's all used to stage Hillary. Now, if you don't believe me, remember when Hillary ran against Barack Hussein Obama. She should have used our system then, but she didn't. She came in and she was the anointed one, and he whooped her. She's not making that mistake this time. And by the way, if you notice, Hillary's also done the other thing you have to do at the formative stage of a campaign. She's going around, she's sucked up all of the money that's out there. So anybody tries to run against her, I hear people ask me, what do you think about Biden? I don't think about anybody. What are they gonna run against her with? They have already laid claim to the money. Once uh, the American public begins to see the emails, uh, they will have an unprecedented insight into uh, a high government official's uh, daily communications, which I think will be uh, quite uh, interesting. You may have seen that I recently launched a Snapchat account. Those messages disappear all by themselves. You see, when Hillary gets in office within six months, According to the plan we wrote back in 1986, literally there's a plan called the 86 plan, and it's where we finalized and put everything down. Within six months, she will make Bill ambassador to the UN. When Bill gets to be ambassador to the UN, it won't be six months then because of the Clinton Foundation, what they've used the Clinton Foundation for, it won't be six months until he's made Secretary General of the UN. Now, can you imagine the power Bill and Hillary have? I mean, they will have achieved more power than any couple in the history of the world when they pull that stunt. On January 20th, 1993, William Jefferson Clinton became the 42nd President of the United States. At the time, most Americans were not aware of the extent of Clinton's criminal background, nor were they aware of the media blackout, which kept this information from the public. As State Attorney General and later Governor, Bill Clinton in 12 years achieved absolute control over the political, legal, and financial systems of Arkansas. As president, he would attempt to do the same with the nation by bringing members of his inner circle with him to Washington. The hijacking of America was underway, and its impact on future generations would be incalculable. It was years, years ago when uh, I was picked up by a man named Mr. Witt Stevens, and Mr. Witt was the brother to Jack Stevens, Jackson Stevens, and they were the king makers in Arkansas. So they called me one day and said, we need to meet with you, and I met with them, and they said, we need you uh, to take a look-see at a guy that we think we can make governor, and we want him to be the youngest governor in the history of the country. 
So I agreed. And then uh, 